okay? Last part, I promise, okay? Promise you this is the last part. Yay, okay? In part five, it's called Gaussian Jordan Elimination. You're like, oh my god, what's up with all those like, eliminations, man? It's all the same thing, kind of, same, same, but different, okay? So Gaussian Jordan Elimination uh, requires one more step after Gaussian Elimination, okay? So Gauss Jordan and then Gauss Elimination. Gauss Jordan is going to be get you to our REF, okay? Remember, Gauss, Gaussian elimination only takes you to REF, okay? So we're going to talk about that, okay? So right now, this guy right here, write this matrix down, and write this matrix down. What's the only difference that you see? Now you're so good that you can speak to me in matrix language, right? So you're like, oh, leading ones, right? Oh, leading ones, right? Oh, below and above are all zeros, and that's why this one is, what do you think? Really angry. Ref. That's ref, okay? And this guy is really one more step. So this guy is just one more step of this. And this guy is Gauss. They, they must have done a Gaussian elimination. So that's why this one is REF, okay? So you can see how you solve for Z already, huh? Because now you kind of already know this. So Z equals negative 3, and you can use that substitution to solve the rest of the variables. Here, it's already solved for you. That's why Gaussian Jordan is a little bit. I don't know. I like to just finish it off with Gaussian Jordan. I don't like to do these substitutions. But later, you're going to have to be savvy enough to do that, okay? So, you guys, we're going to go back to our, our old previous example, which was number 32, and we're going to finish that. Because remember how we left it like this? I'll show you the uh, matrix that we were looking at. Remember how we said stop here, okay? We said stop there. And why did we stop there? Because we were pretty much done with REF, right? Oh, what can we just stop here? I think it's fine, okay? All right, I think we stopped here. Maybe there was a little error or something, okay? But uh, I think we stopped here, okay? So we're going to continue with number 32. Let's go to, um, okay, so uh, let's say this is, you know, this is REF, right? This is REF. Let's say we did this problem, okay? And our goal is to get the same answer as this, okay? 4, 3, negative 1. Oh, a negative 4, negative 3, a positive 3, 1. Using, we, we use it. We solved it first with REF and backward substitution, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to go one more step on this REF and try to solve it all the way. So I'm going to assume that we did all the steps and I told you to use Gauss-Jordan elimination, right? That means we have to go our REF. So let's do one more step. So you guys, these are already ones, right? But this guy above him has to all be zeros. Put a dash line there, okay? Above one. So we're going to have to something to the last row to get these guys to be zero. So leave the last row alone. Don't do anything to him. Okay? Second row, how is it going to change? You're going to multiply the a third row, right, by negative 2. Negative 2, R3, and you're going to add it to R2 to get R2. What are you going to do to this guy? You're going to multiply this guy by negative 3. I'm sorry, you should multiply this by positive 1, huh? Because you need positive to add it to 0, okay? Negative R3, and you're going to add it to R1, okay? So let's do that, okay? What happens when you all get 0 and 0 just become 0, okay? What's 2 times 0 and you add 1? It's just 1, right? What's 2 times 1 plus negative 2? That's 0, okay? What's 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 5. It's going to be 3, Ooh, okay? Now we got all our leading zeros here. How about here? What's negative 3 times 0 and you add 1? You get 1, okay? So that's 0, and then you add 1. What's negative 3 times 0, and you add 0? It's just 0. What's negative 3 times 1? Negative 3 times 1 plus 3. That's just 0. So that's negative 3 plus uh, 0. I'm sorry, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 3 plus a negative 4. A negative 7, that's negative 4. Oh my gosh. Check it, check your solutions, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This means x equals negative 4, y equals 3, z equals negative 1. So our solution is negative 3, 4, 3, negative 1. Holy cow. Our solutions match no matter which method we worked on. Okay, what do you like? Do you like REF or RREF? Back substitution? No back substitution. I'd rather just go one more step and do gauss Jordan all the way. Okay? So you guys, I'm pretty much done. Watch the videos again. And uh, I'll go up with more examples for you, and I'll also PDF a file of solutions for you so you can follow it, okay? But try that, okay? Check the homework on Schoology. Bye! Have fun!